there. I didn't see you. Today I'm here at the beach. A place to sit back and relax. Don't you just love the sound of the waves and the smell of the ocean? Ah, the smell of sea salt. Whoops, sorry to interrupt. My name's Caps. I heard you talk about the ocean and couldn't help but butt in. I think it's just amazing how the ocean can home even the tiniest plankton and the biggest whales. All sorts of diverse creatures. Exactly! And that's why it's so cool! Just imagine all the different sharks you can see, from big to small, and fishes, and jellyfishes, and starfishes. Wow! How crazy is that? Yeah, but unfortunately, the ocean hasn't been feeling very well. <laughs> oh no! What's wrong? Well, lately the ocean's been getting filled with all sorts of harmful things, like trash, chemicals, and oil. Things that really shouldn't even be in there. Where does all this stuff even come from? It can come from many sources like littering on the beach, oil spills from ships, or chemicals from factories and farms running into rivers and floating into the ocean. All of this is known as pollution, and it can be very dangerous for the plants and animals that live in the ocean. It can also affect people who eat seafood or swim in the ocean. The trash can harm animals like sea turtles and whales, and the chemicals can make the water unsafe for us to swim in as well. Is there anything we can do about it? Yeah, luckily there is, and although it may not be possible for you to prevent all types of water pollution, there are plenty of ways you can help. Here are a few solutions that you can do. You can start by reducing your use of single-use plastics. That's the kind of trash that's found in the ocean, like straws and water bottles. This stuff can end up in the ocean and harm marine life. Another way is participating in beach cleanups or any conservation organizations. It's important not to leave anything behind because eventually all the trash will be washed into our oceans. Next, you can reduce, reuse, and recycle plastics. Aside from recycling plastics, you can turn this wasteful material into something useful. Oh, yeah! can turn this water bottle into a spaceship, or even a submarine! Definitely, our possibilities are basically endless. And lastly, our last solution is just to learn more about the ocean and its inhabitants. The more you know, the more you'll be inspired to protect it. Here are a few additional resources you can look into, and they'll be available in the description below. And although your actions may seem small, they leave a huge impact in protecting our oceans. Thanks for all this information, Caps, and thank you for sharing it with us. I never really realized how important the ocean was to all the sea critters, and also for us as well. Yeah, exactly, and I'd be happy to share a little bit more, but in the meantime, I need to get back to this sandcastle. Ooh, ooh, a sandcastle? Let me help, let me help! We could put some flags here, Ooh, maybe, or maybe we could put a shell to surround the bottom. 